Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. Well, it's the 15th of May and it is time for Shutterbug AU, our second picture. Yes, I am up early and this will be uploaded early. Life in the next few days is terribly busy. I'm busy trying to get um, thing organised for his trip to Spain, um, which hasn't been easy, but we're getting there and work life is busy at the moment. But anyway, we, we always find a bit of time to do our video. So this is our six month make along. We only have two more pictures after this one to go. It finishes at the end of June. Welcome to those new subscribers. You can join for the, uh, the months. Do something in the month if you want to join in. It's never too late to take part in the month and uh, make a small project. So, 1st of May, the artwork, Chloe the New Nymph, was well received. I didn't get any negative comments or emails, so that's a big th thumbs up. There was lots of um, colours used from the palette within the palette range, which was great to see. A special mention to Lynette Charm Grammy. I really loved your little fox. I've been enjoying these keyring amigurumis you're making, but the fox is really cute. And now I'm starting to think I have to buy that book because I really like them. <laughs> Anyway, guys, make sure you check out Lynette Charm Grammy. I'll leave a link to her channel. You can see all these little amigurumi she's been making for a make-along. So, May the 15th. The decision for the photo. Well, it's a photo I took on our trip to Victoria. We went to Geelong for a few days and we explored Geelong and the Wool Museum. And we also decided this day, it was beautiful and sunny, not too cold, not too hot, that we would have lunch in this cafe, which was outdoors in a park. And um, we thought, well, it's a nice day. Why not eat there? In the park, there was lots of little school kids having fun, lots of giggles and laughter. There were parents with their patients taking them around the exercise equipment. It was a great day, just a lovely atmosphere. So we ordered our lunch, we sat at our table, and lo and behold, when the food came out, Max the Magpie decided to pay a visit and stand on our table. Now this is an Australian bird. Um, I'll tell you a bit about it. It's a black and white bird native to Australia, southern New Guinea, and introduced into New Zealand. Although once considered to be three separate species, it now is considered to be one with nine recognised subspecies. The Australian magpie lives in very strict groups of 25 or up to 25 birds, most of them female with one or two dominant males. It has one of the most complex bird songs. So if you're into bird song, it's, it may be your thing. Um, what else can I say? It's related to the butcher bird, the carawong, carawongs, and wood swallows. I always say that one wrong. So this magpie on our table was been living near the water too long. He was in an identity crisis. He thought he was a seagull. He was eyeing off my chips, or fries as some people call them, and he definitely wanted one. Although he had better manners than a seagull. He didn't try and take them. He just watched me longingly and pointing with his beak to the chips, but he didn't get one because they would make him very sick. It's not ideal to feed birds human food. So I hope you like the photo. He's a magnificent looking bird. There's lots of colors in the palette to you to choose from. I'll try and show you on the laptop as per usual, but it will flare. That's a good way of seeing the palette. So we have brown at the top with a peachy um, apricot orange, a beige, a mustardy color, lemon color, gray, dark gray to black, um, green and some greeny blue. This picture will be at the end for you to check out so you can see the palette better. Also magpies when they're breeding or nesting tend to swoop you if you get too close they will peck you really hard especially in the top of the head or if they're nesting they try and pull out your hair in chunks for their nest 
Some people have come up with some ingenious headwear to wear through areas where they have to walk where magpies are nesting. If I can find a photo, I will put one at the end for you. And if I can find their bird song um, on YouTube that's free, I'll put that there too. Just so you can check out this magnificent bird. I like them. Quite a few people don't because of their naughty habits of swooping and pecking you. But they're just being protective or being good parents. Anyway, guys, stay safe, stay well. I will be back in the next few days with another video. I have found some joy in my crafting, my knitting, my crochet. I took on board all the feedback. I have a few finished objects to show you, but I'm not quite sure when that video will get uploaded. So have some fun with Shadowbug AU. And remember, stay well, stay safe, and shop your stash before you use your cash, because near enough is good enough. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.